welcome. How are you today? Good. Well, my name is Elo and I'm going to be taking care of your foot pampering today. Yeah. Before you came in, I ran a basin of warm water and you're welcome to go ahead and uh, submerge your feet into that now if you'd like. Great. Perfect. Is the water temperature okay? Okay, good. All right, well, while your feet are soaking, which is just going to um, loosen everything up for your muscles and also make the skin nice and soft for us to get underway with our uh, foot pampering, can I ask you a couple questions? Okay, great. So I was really just wondering um, what brings you in? Oh, that's nice. It was a Christmas gift. Okay. Well, great. I'm glad that you could make it. I know a lot of people um, never end up redeeming their gift cards. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And since you are here, though, now, have you had any issues with your feet or any soreness? Um, any particular spots that you'd like for us to focus on today? Okay. Okay. Do you stand a lot for your job? You do? Okay. Mm-hmm. So sort of the arches of your feet and the heels are very tender, you think? And does that tenderness stick around for a long time, or does it kind of go away? Yeah, I guess the only chance you have for it to go away is over your weekend if you get two days off in a row. <laughs> okay. So maybe it gets like minimally better each day, but then you're kind of agitating it again. Have you had any foot injuries in the past? No? Okay. What kind of shoes do you tend to wear? I know that's a weird question, but um, flip-flops, high heels, things that have um, not enough support or may contort the feet into a certain shape can be um, not necessarily damaging, maybe over time, but they can cause pain in certain pressure points in the feet, and I want to know if I should focus on any of those. Okay. All right. And do you wear socks with your shoes? Okay. Right. Have you had any trouble with your um, toenails at all? Yeah, any um, fungal infections or any sort of ingrown toenail, anything painful? Okay. Yeah, I hate when I stub my toes too. <laughs> and you cracked a nail doing that once? Is that all fully healed by now? Everything's good? Okay. All right. And have you ever gotten a foot pampering massage before? Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad that this could be a first experience of its kind for you. And do you have any other questions or is there anything that um, you think I should know about your feet? Are you ticklish? Okay. I'm extremely ticklish myself on the feet, so I will definitely be sure to use um, sort of broader, longer strokes when I'm doing the massage so that I make sure that I don't uh, set you off in any way. Yeah. And don't worry, I'll keep a firm hold on your feet, so if you do kind of 
lurch or jump at any moment, um, you won't kick me in the face, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right. Is the fragrance in here okay or too overwhelming? Okay. I know some people are sensitive to scents, and I definitely don't want to be giving you a headache in this process, so I do have a candle burning here. It's kind of got a little bit of a sweet scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is actually a blackberry and hibiscus. Yep. I'm glad you like it. A little bit of aromatherapy never hurt anyone. Um, and then I am going to also be using a scented lotion and soap if you're okay with it. Yes? Okay. Great. If there's nothing else that you'd like for me to know, your feet should be uh, nice and softened up now and we can get started. Okay, great. Okay, so first things first, we're just going to go ahead and wash the feet. Okay. Get them nice and clean. I have here a bar of soap. It's brand new. Um, this is by Caress, and it is a daily silk infusion soap. Um, it's white peach and silky orange blossom. Does that sound okay? Yeah, I can let you smell it first. And we can always switch to a different soap if you don't like this one. So this is the bar here. You want to give it a smell? It's really light, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, will this be okay? Okay, I'm just gonna reach down to your feet here and start to work up a bit of a lather. Does that feel okay? The pressure's all right? Okay, good. And I'm just going to pull some water around and over your feet. Get a nice lather going. Yeah, it foams pretty nicely. Especially for a bar soap, sometimes they um, they tend to leave a bit of a residue and they don't make a whole lot of foam, but I find that this Caress brand actually um, does a good job and it's very moisturizing, so I like the way that it leaves the feet feeling afterwards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you're welcome to just lean back and relax if you want to close your eyes or, um, you know, just imagine you're somewhere else. Feel free. Sometimes my clients fall asleep in the chair and that's completely fine. You don't have to be awake for the process and I'll just keep kind of going about what I do and I like to keep my clients updated on what I am doing because I think that it can be a little vulnerable to have someone manhandling your feet. So I'll always let you know what I'm up to. Okay. And I'm just gonna slide my fingers in between your toes and kind of pull a little bit. Just clean in between. Does that feel okay? Okay. If at any point in time the pressure should be changed to make you more comfortable, please do let me know. Alright, and I'm just gonna 
grab the bottom of your heels a little bit. Those tend to be a little tougher in the skin there. Okay. Excellent. All right. And now I'm just going to splash some of the water to rinse your feet. basin out of the way. Okay, perfect. Um, so I have a towel here. I'm just gonna pat your feet dry. And you can just rest them right here on this little padded part. Everything feels good so far. Good. Okay, so the next step, um, water can be really drying to the skin and while your feet are fresh out of the bath, we're going to do a lotion-based massage, okay? Yeah, so this is a two-part massage. The first part is going to, as I said, incorporate the lotion and I'm going to use my fingers um, to hit those pressure points that we need to make sure I really get in and out of your toes and around your heels and in your arches everywhere that you're feeling uh, pain and I'll also be sure to encompass the entire foot because sometimes there's pain that sort of radiates and we can't really feel it until the more painful areas feel good. Yeah, it's kind of a weird concept, but you'll see what I mean, I think. Okay. So the moisturizer that I'm using is actually, you can get this at any drugstore. It's not a specialty lotion, um, but it is one of the most hydrating lotions that, um, I think you can find, and it has a very, very light and soothing cherry almond scent. Mm -hmm. Everything's kind of a little fruity and, and a little bit of a light floral, so it all blends together very nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to take some of this lotion into my hands, um, quite a bit actually, so that we get a very nice surface so that my fingers glide easily as I'm doing my work. Okay. And this one is formulated for dry skin, which even if you don't have dry skin on the rest of your body, the heels especially can become very dry and obviously now that it's winter and colder, um, those areas tend to sort of be exacerbated. Okay, so I'm just gonna work. We will start with your right foot if that's okay. Okay. So I'm gonna first take the sort of ball of my thumb and I'm going to glide deep into the arch of your foot. I'm just going to do some long sweeping motions. Does that feel okay? And the pressure is alright? These broad strokes are really good for stimulating the blood flow in the feet. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm going to also be, while I'm doing this, using my top fingers, the fingers on the top side of your foot, to 
pull down on your little tendons there just gently this helps to relieve a lot of that pressure as well feels nice In a second here, I'm going to switch from these long strokes to little circles. Just with my thumb there. I don't want to overwhelm the nerves since your foot is already feeling pretty fragile and tender. I'm going to just do little tiny circles all along the arch. I feel a little knot here on the side and I'm gonna just work that out. same on your um, left foot, okay? So you can just relax the right foot. Do the long broad strokes first. Does it feel okay on this side as well? Not too much pressure. tendons down a little bit on the top to provide some relief. And I'm going to switch into those tiny circles now. All throughout the arch. I'm going to see if I can feel any knots too. side feels a bit tighter, but I don't feel any knots, and that can have something to do with the way that you stand, um, or just your shoes. Sometimes shoes aren't perfectly symmetrical, actually. <laughs> the lining might be sitting funny on one, or who knows. And if we wear um, anything with a heel, whether it's a boot or otherwise. Sometimes we can wear down the heels differently because of the way that we walk and then that affects the way that we stand, so. It's just important to keep up with this stuff if, if your feet are hurting you chronically. And relax your foot. I'm gonna grab some more lotion. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is start working the top of the foot and into the toes, okay? All right, so I'll go back to your right side here. And on the top of the foot, I'm actually also gonna use my knuckles to lightly sort of glide over those tendons we were talking about. Disrupting them in this way can be extremely relaxing and sort of force them to get out of their typical stressed positions. So 
slide the knuckles over. I'm going to be using my thumbs now at the kind of base of your ankle. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Okay, good. Good, good. I'm just going to grab your toes and circle your whole foot. Ankle joint kind of warmed up. Okay. All right. And using my first two fingers, I'm going to pull down now on the top of your foot. Okay. And I'm just going to put my fingers actually around your tendons now instead of on top of them. So sort of massaging the space in between. Okay. Good. Okay. And we'll work down into the toes now. So I'm going to use my first two fingers on the bottom to stabilize and my thumbs on the top. And just sort of glide across your big toe, feeling along that knuckle ridge. Okay, bend your second toe. Good, and the third. same thing on the other side. Okay. So we'll start just by gliding the knuckles over the top of the foot here. Very strange movement to feel so good. <laughs> I was very surprised when I learned that it was effective in the ways that it is. Okay, and now we will get that ankle joint. Ankles ever tend to feel tender or swollen or okay. Do you play any sports? Okay. All right. I'm gonna grab your toes and hold your heel and just circle that foot again. And this really does a great job of just lubricating that ankle joint. A lot of what we do in, in this massage therapy is to get the blood flow going and making sure that it's reaching every area of the foot equally. And this also helps your body to repair those pieces that are feeling tender. Okay. Good. And now I'm just gonna again use my fingers to pull down in between your sort of 
tendons here. Flowing back from the ankle down to the tip of the foot. It should be pretty relieving. Okay. Do a little more lotion and move into the toes. Start with your big toe here and use my thumbs again to um, get it nice and worked out. I feel like the toes are one of the areas that we don't really know hurts until, until they are feeling better. It's always interesting to me how pain especially. You can kind of have it everywhere and not know because typically speaking the arches or the heel are the most painful areas for people. Yeah, especially people who are walking a lot for their job. When we walk, you know, we come down on our heel and roll to the toe. That's sort of a natural natural way to walk and for runners and anyone who's has to sprint or run for a sport that impact can become really intense on the foot um, and it's it's just as intense for those who are walking all day long you know I'm gonna move to that second toe. Just feel kind of pull a little bit into the third. Good. The fourth. Great. And your pinky toe. I think pinky toes are so cute. <laughs> not a, actually not a big foot person for someone who gives as many foot massages as I do. <laughs> but I find that people's pinky toes are always cute because they're kind of miniature and what's not cute when it's miniature? <laughs> We're going to work on the base, on the sole, uh, completely, and I'm going to start at the top, kind of just below your toes. There's that ridge at the top, you know? Yeah. I'm going to use my thumb to, it's actually going to be quite a bit of pressure. I'm going to apply across in a sweeping motion, okay? And I'm going to do both sides at the same time for this motion. Um, because it's easy to stabilize when I'm holding both of your feet. Okay, and then I'm gonna work one foot at a time again, and we're gonna just go straight down the foot into the heel um, eventually. That will be the ending point. Um, and I'll do all of that work one foot at a time. Just need a little bit of lotion for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna hold both of your feet here and just pull kind of from the big toe of each out to the pinky toe. Does that feel good? on this particular movement because I think it's a very neglected area for most people. 
but an important one because it does do a lot for our anatomy as we're walking. Being able to flex the toes and move and run the way that we do. It's very reliant on this ridge at times and it tends to be under underappreciated. Okay, and now I'm just gonna move into your right foot and work along the base here. So just starting at that kind of arch, the top of the arch, I suppose. I'm going to be using the majority of my fingers for this process because I think that the a mixture of holding pressure and gliding strokes are the way to go. So I'm going to press both of my thumbs now into this ridge here and just hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just pull that out. Okay. And I'm going to use my knuckles now on the um, actual arch of your foot. Earlier I was doing the long strokes, if you remember. The knuckles are going to be very taut and press. And I'm going to glide them across sort of left to right, like this, and in that process, um, it's going to relieve a lot of that tension from the front to the back of your foot, okay? Okay. So just relax for me. do give myself foot massages sometimes. It's nice because it's one of the things that you can kind of give yourself some self-care and actually feel the benefits. Yeah. Even if it would be less work for someone else to do it, um, my feet always feel better afterwards. So, and that's also something, you know, you said you stand a lot and, um, are active and obviously it's impacting your your feet so you can definitely do this as well if you remember any of these moves or you google any um, what I like to do is at the end of a bath I will after my feet are nice and soaked um, use a pumice stone um, just to smooth out all that skin, especially around the heel as I mentioned and after that I will drain the tub and take some lotion and massage and I usually actually start the massage while I'm still in the bath water because it's easy just as easy as with a lotion or an oil to glide and I think that the water feels really nice, the warmth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna move into the heel now and since the heel is much more of a sturdy area, I'm gonna use the hard part of my thumbs to really dig in, okay? Please do let me know if I cause you any discomfort. I don't think I will, but just in case. I'd rather you tell me. All right. And I'm gonna get around the back of the ankle as well. Kind of 
towards that Achilles tendon. Switch to my first finger knuckle and just push in circular motions around that heel. Okay. And lastly, I'm gonna take my thumbs and press in, okay? For one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, good, good. All right, ready to repeat on the other side. Okay, good. So we'll start with that ridge just below the toes again. Gliding across. Good. Oh, you can smell the lotion now. Isn't it really nice? It's the exact same scent that I remember from um, the hand soap that's in some bathrooms. I know, like, my elementary school had it. Yeah, that cherry smell. It's so hard to forget. I feel like a lot of my clients like it because it's kind of nostalgic. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna move down into the arch now. And we'll repeat those same movements we did on the other side. Working nice and deep into that arch now with my knuckles just going side to side. It is just so good for that tension. This is like the tension blasting move. Just work into your heel now. Get both sides going here. Perfect. Okay. Is that a good amount of pressure? Feels good. going to um, hit those pressure points with my thumbs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Alright, how are your feet feeling? Good. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let them sort of cool down for a second and dry a little bit because the lotion can be sticky um, but if you let the air just kind of circulate on it for a few minutes they will not be sticky in the long run and I know some people really don't like that feeling so we're gonna let those dry for a second I'm going to go clean up my hands really quick and when we come back we'll move into the next uh, part of the massage okay right back. Okay, how 
How are you feeling? Good. Would you like a glass of water? Yeah. I know that um, your feet being in that warm bath and then being worked on and getting all that blood flow going can kind of make people feel a little warm, so I have some cold water if you'd like. Okay. There you go. Yeah, have as much as you'd like, and when you're ready, you can give it back. I'll put it back on the table. So while you're having some sips, um, the next thing that we're going to work with is this roller here. And essentially what this does is allow me to glide up and down the bottoms and tops of your feet um, without injury, but with a little more pressure than what my hands can do. Yeah, it's a really great tool. And the bottom roller here is excellent for getting in around the heel um, where a little bit more pressure is even needed. And I'm going to rub up sort of past your ankles and into your calves as well because I believe that um, getting the blood flow going beyond the foot can help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. you, okay? Let me know if you'd like some more. All right, so I'm just going to use the um, quadrupronged side here, and we're going to start with the top of the foot, okay? How's that pressure? Good, okay. So this will be able to get in and out around the tendons and down to the toes and I'm gonna go up into your calf area I feel so good right this is another thing that you can um, buy at the drugstore a big box store and um, it's super helpful, especially if you're on your feet a lot. You can use it to roll your, your calves and your feet. Stimulate that blood flow after you are done with a shift or sports or exercise of any kind. And it's also nice like if you go to a long concert or you want to do something nice for significant other friend or family member. You don't have to touch anyone's feet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Definitely though, for, for anyone with a lot of um, leg hair, it's not a good idea to use in conjunction with like a lotion uh, because that might actually snag, but when the leg is dry like this, it's not a problem at all. I'm gonna work back down into the ankle and the foot now. And if you just wanna flex this right foot for me, I'm gonna get the bottom. Good. Does that feel nice? Now that we've done a bit of the massage, um, do you feel any spots on either foot that are still particularly tender? Okay. So a little bit in the mid arch and still some in the heel. Is that on both sides about equal? Okay, I'm gonna use the single roller on your heel now and I'm gonna apply a lot of pressure, okay. I feel all right. Good, okay. I never want to hurt anyone, but the heel really can take a lot of pressure. It tends to feel pretty good. I'm 
gonna switch back to the arch now and I'm actually gonna keep using the single roller in the arch since you're saying that the it's it's the inside or the outside? The outside, okay. I'll use it on the outside a bit more. That's it, okay, good. Perfect. I appreciate you communicating with me. It's a lot easier when I know what you need. gonna do the same thing now on the other side, okay? So a we'll roll here on the top of the foot and move up into the calf. Good. And get the shin. The shins are such a weird area of the they feel so hard, but they can also be very um, tender, especially people who run or do a lot of physical activity. I think the shin is also an underappreciated area. Definitely not used to being pampered, but it feels good, right? back down into the ankle and if you want to flex this foot for me now good I'm just gonna get the sole and now we will use the single roller to get the heel is that good pressure And on this side, was it the inside or the outside of the arch? The inside on this, okay. That's interesting. I'd imagine that that definitely has something to do with your weight distribution when you're standing. I know I tend to lean more on my right foot, and I kind of stand like the planter's peanuts, man. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> So I kind of have more pain on the inner arch on that side. Mm -hmm. It does make a huge difference, yeah. I try to encourage people to change up their stance often and shift their weight often. Okay. How does that feel? Good. Okay, I'm so glad. the last step in the process. I have a little bit of baby powder and I'm just going to kind of puff it onto your feet and smooth it out. Um, and this is going to absorb any excess moisture from the lotion that might still be hanging around. And it's also going to leave your feet with a very silky feel. Okay. And this is just your typical Johnson's baby powder. It's in lavender and chamomile, so it's a calming, calming lotion. You want to smell? Okay, and if you see, I can just kind of barely squeeze the bottle and a little bit comes out. So I'm just going to grab your foot here and... Good. And the other side. Okay. And if you'll me, I'm just going to rub this in real quick, okay? <laughs> Alright. Other side. Good. Okay. Your feet feel and look uh, really soft and smooth. Your heels, I notice the skin is looking um, much more or I should say much less lined, just very smooth all around. Yeah. Good, okay. All right, well, how was everything? Do you still feel any areas that have um, any sort of pain? No? Oh, good. I'm 
I'm so glad to hear that. Okay, great. Well, um, you're welcome to hang out for a little bit if you'd like. I know it's hard to uh, get done with a massage and just immediately get up and walk away. So if you want to take a few minutes to hang out, I don't have another client um, who's waiting to use this room. You can just hang out. Your water is still here on the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you get a chance, you can feel free to um, fill out our questionnaire just about how your service went, how I did, how you feel, um, that kind of thing. It's pretty standard, run-of-the-mill, yes-or-no stuff, so not a whole lot of effort. <laughs> yeah, definitely want to keep you feeling relaxed. Good. Okay, well, it was really, really nice to meet you and chat with you. I appreciate you being interactive, and um, I really hope that your feet are feeling amazing and pampered. Good. Okay. Well, I hope to uh, see you again sometime. Excellent. All right.